Warning, the following video contains mentions of suicide and stalking. Welcome back to Will, A Wonderful World. Last time, we became a god. We became a god who's helped solve Lee Wen's problems. Lee Wen's problem is that she doesn't know to take the safe route home. Today, we have some more letters. I didn't realize this game had voice acting. Girl, can you solve your problems for once? Anyway, we have two new letters. The last words and Roses and a doll. We're gonna give Lee Wen a little time to solve her own problems, so let's go ahead and take a look at whoever this dude is. Sometimes we might see multiple messages from two or more people at the same time. Why do humans have so many problems? Mood, dog, mood. In cases like this, you have to read through both messages in one breath before we can start working on them. I'm not sure I, I can hold my... I don't know if I have the lung capacity for that, though. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to see how long I can hold my breath. I don't think I can finish two letters in one breath. It's just a metaphor. Well, what should I do to find the other letter after reading the first one? After reading one letter, you might see the next letter option. Whenever you need to switch between the two letters, just use the next letter button to switch back and forth. Okay, I'll start now. Do gods have user interfaces too? Do, do they actually have little buttons that show up in the corner? And if so, I, I would like to start having, you know how it's a common trope uh, in in a lot of Japanese media, especially with otaku, where they have their own little like dialogue window pop up with options. I would like to start having that. Anyway, letter. It had been 10 years. I'd been cursed since the incident. Every time I picked up my paintbrush, my mind would start tormenting me, wreaking havoc. For 10 years, I haven't been able to paint anything. I was suffering, and I deserved it. By now, I had spent all of my savings, yet I was still alive. A friend was kind enough to set me up with a teaching job at a high school, teaching the art class. I would start tomorrow. It wasn't particularly well paid, but for someone who had been living without power, water, or heat in his apartment, it was like a burning pit of charcoal in the middle of a blizzard. I was really grateful to my friend. Ironically, I had just bought myself some charcoal earlier today. I thought I might be able to leave something worthwhile to the world as a painter before I died. Yes, I wanted to make one of those final masterpieces. I set up my easel. One hour passed. Two hours. Three hours. I had to put down the brush. Even if I managed to paint something, how would it be different from all of the other garbage in this room? It would just be another piece of soulless trash. 
just like me. All trash! I poured the coal into a basin and put it on the bedroom floor. I put on my best clothes. I carefully made my bed. And I lit the coals. I tried the doorknob and realized that the door was not locked. I chuckled. That was careless of me. I double-checked all of the doors and windows, making sure that they had been locked and sealed. I couldn't take any chances. I lay down on my bed. All I could see was her face. Here I come, honey. Sorry for making you wait so long. God, I'm ready. Please take me away. Wen Zhaoren. Well, uh, Wen's having a hard time of it. Looks like he lost a wife or, or a family member here. Or, by family member, I mean kid, but a loved one. He got a job, but... Looks like he... He's hit that point of depression. He's given up. What better to help a piece of soulless trash than fellow trash? I'm talking, of course, about Lee Wen. Let's take a look. Roses and a doll. Girl, why is all your shit so scary? The apartment building I had just moved into was quite old. It didn't have an elevator, so I had to climb the stairs every day. As usual. What is this musical saying? <laughs> I, I I joked last time around about this being Spirit Hunter, but I wasn't it wasn't serious, oh my god. <laughs> As usual, it was already past midnight when I got back from tennis practice. Please don't practice tennis until after midnight. <sighs> Not when you have this kind of backing music. I noticed something at my door as soon as I walked into the fourth floor hallway. Of course she lives on the fourth floor. What's that? A bouquet of roses? And the Sir Spotty toy I had seen in the arcade a few days ago. I had a sudden, sinking feeling of anxiety. I'd been getting strange emails starting the day before yesterday. This was the first one. I've been watching you for a long time. Write back to me. At first, I thought maybe someone had sent it to the wrong address by accident. Or it could have been some random phishing email, so I didn't pay any attention to it. But the next day I received another one. Please write back to me. I still have no idea what those weird symbols mean. Our girl doesn't know what emoji are. But also... Stalker dude! Please! And whoever had written these emails seemed to think that we knew each other. My cell phone suddenly buzzed in my pocket. I had a new email. I clicked on the email app with a shaking finger. We shall finally meet soon. I couldn't understand those symbols at all. But the words in the middle... All of a sudden, I felt a chill down my back. As if I was being watched by someone. Or 
something. But my body had frozen and I didn't dare turn around. I looked into the reflection in the glass of the window in front of me, trying to see if there was anything behind me. There wasn't. I was just being paranoid. Still, I decided to go and spend the night at Jing's place just in case. I walked towards the staircase, but then I heard it. Footsteps coming upstairs, closer and closer. Who could it be at this late hour? Could it be the one who had written those emails? I immediately turned around and ran back towards my apartment. But I lived alone. What if they broke in? He would force me into the corner, pull a chainsaw out from behind him, and cut me to pieces. Oh god, no! I stopped at the door of my neighbor, room 414. I... I choose you! Help me! No matter how hard I knocked, nothing happened. I tried not to cry so much that I wouldn't be heard. But tears were already streaming down my face. Come to help me when... The footsteps stopped at the fourth floor and were now moving towards me. There was only one more corner between us. It was too late for me to hide in my own apartment now. I held my tennis racket up. I swung it down as hard as I could with my eyes closed when the person arrived at the corner. The person I'd hit wobbled and fell down the stairs. It... it was Uncle Sun. He seemed to be just going around the building and picking up trash. Uncle Sun was laying on the ground and he wasn't moving at all. Oh my god. What have I done? God. Please help me. Please. Please. Lee Wen. Oh. Whoops. Uh, well. That escalated quickly. Like. Alright. So Lily Wen's got multiple problems here. The first is, she... She still doesn't know personal safety. I'm not, I'm not trying to make them blame here. I, I'm, I'm just saying. The second is, she's got a stalker. Like, like, my, my dude, this is not how you introduce yourself to someone. Whoever this person is, this is not how you introduce yourself to the girl you like. Third is she may have killed the building security guard, so she might be a murderer now. That that's a pretty big problem. And then the fourth, because you know it's got to be lucky number four. She does not understand emoji. How do you not recognize the shape of a fucking heart? Never mind that this dude is creepy. How do you not recognize that this... This... This, this entire thing... Is a heart. Alright. We got a guy who wants to die and a girl who just killed someone. So let's go and solve these problems. Did they have to continue with the creepy music? <laughs> when there's more than one letter, the white pieces can be moved left and right, as well, in addition to up and down. Since it'll impact the fate of both people, you must be careful when making your decisions. Oh, okay, so we can, we can slip this in it. Oh, okay. It's not that we can slip it in at any point, because I can't bring it down here. I can just shift it over to this side. So now she can break into the room of her neighbor. She's going to break into room 414. And, and that way, she won't become an accidental murderer. So that, that's one problem solved. God, I'm ready. 
Please take me away. He's in room 414, isn't he? What was that noise? I struggled to sit up in my bed. My head felt like it was going to... explode. D damn it. Just a little longer, and God would have taken me. No, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. God has rejected you. Whoever had made that noise... Peter Brutaler or a utility guy, I would never forgive them. Excuse me. Sorry for the intrusion. I sneaked into my neighbor's apartment. It was completely dark inside and smelled funny. It was so hard to breathe in this apartment. I wondered who would live in such a place. I shut the door right behind me. I accidentally knocked over some jars that were shelved next to the door and they made some very loud noises. Still, nobody responded. I suppose there really wasn't anyone home. I looked out from the peephole while I held my breath. Unintentionally smart choice here. A thin, old, humpbacked man walked by the door with empty plastic bottles in his hands. It was just Uncle Sun, the manager. <sighs> this one is easy too. Huh. As Shakespeare once said, security is mortal's chiefest enemy. Which could mean that overconfidence is man's greatest enemy. Shakes? What? Who? Shakespeare. He's one of the greatest writers in human history. Or he's 20 monkeys on a typewriter. Was it 20 or 30? Overconfidence is man's greatest enemy? Well, but I am no man. Okay. Then you do, do you remember this person's name? Uh, when... So... Uh, I have it on the tip of my tongue. Look, one of them is Fluffy, the other is Fluffy 1, and the third is Fluffy Prime. Problem solved. <laughs> you should pay more attention. His name is Wen Zhao Ren. I mean, if his name is Wen Zhao Ren and her name is Li Wen, technically she was right when she said Wen. Okay, I have a bad memory. I get your point. It's only easy because you're just getting started. You'll see soon enough. Anyway, we... We made sure he never checked. Oh! He moves his leg. Like, I, I've noticed her hair flowing, but I didn't not notice that for whatever reason. So we made sure he didn't check his door. He's alive, and now uh, Uncle Sum is alive. And our girl still committed a crime. Just, just one with a not as strong consequence. Lee Wen's got a lot of problems. What does this yellow star mean? When you see a yellow star, that means you have unlocked all the possible endings of that particular event. We got rank S, which usually in East Asia is like the highest score. Or like it, it's above A. So I say in East Asia because this game again comes from a Chinese developer. Most people are usually familiar with that system from Japanese games. Um, that said, apparently there is no failing. Which sucks because I kind of wanted to go back and see what would happen. Oh, should I try to collect all the yellow stars? Oh no, that won't be necessary. You mean I can't go back and screw up people's lives for the fun of it? Our job is just to help the humans with their troubles. 
no matter how many times we try or how many endings we unlock. For the humans, there is only one ending to each story that they will ever know. For more information, please look up these additional papers on quantum mechanics. So it doesn't really matter whether or not you unlock all of the endings. In that case, what is the star there for? Well, I know you're asking me, but... To be honest, I don't really know. Man, mascot character. What are you good for? Anyway, we're gonna call that a video for here. But before we do, as always, that is a long ass timeline. And we didn't look at the menu last time, so let's do a quick save. we can see profiles. We've only got two people so far. We've got Li Wen. We've got some information on her too. Her favorite sport is tennis. Her favorite toy is Sir's Body Stuffed Door. She goes to Beijing Yingnan Junior High School. So that tells you this one, this game is set in Beijing. Uh, two, excuse me, she's in junior high school. That, that, that's like, what, up to American ninth grade, I think? Which is, which is like, what, 14 years old? At 17, broke into someone's home. The owner did not press charges. Oh, okay, so she's 17. I don't know the Chinese schooling system. 17 makes more sense. I like that we are, in fact, keeping track of her crimes. Our other dude here is Wen Zhao Ren. Wait, wait. Li and Wen. Okay, her first name is Wen. His last name is Wen. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Uh, he has a card. His picture is a silhouette. Presumably we will get to see his picture as we play more of the game. Ars Longa. Vita Brefis. That's what? Life is short, art lives forever? But apparently, even his, his ID has a silhouette. And damn. Can, can I get that kind of ID? We also have access to, well, options we've seen already. Uh, help. We are refusing help because we're playing on lunatic mode. The collection screen. You can also see the screen at the first start of the game. But it shows you all the music you've collected or unlocked in the game so far. I like Cat Pound. It's the comedic musical thing from when we call Fluffy Fluffy. Uh, album presumably gives us CGs. Uh, in that case, Lee Wen on a dark, dingy tennis court. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven dreams of night. So sixty-three. Oh. Oh, this is the background we started in. With a minus seven. Okay, so fifty-six screens. I think I did that math right? No. No. I don't know anymore. 
Uh, awesome album events. Start from zero in the world of the gods. Ah, our opening scene. We also have a dictionary to explain terms to us like Sir Spotty. We didn't see any dictionary terms this time around. And lastly, our achievements. Presumably these are also the Steam achievements. Uh, I do have the first step on my profile. But let's avoid spoilers. So with that, we'll be back to read some more letters next time.